So today, let's take a look at the future of the mobile version of MetaTrader 4. From the quotes tab, we're having the symbols and the bid price and the ask price. We're also having other details of the symbols, showing us the spread, the low, the high, and all that. If you don't want to see all this other details, you can just click on any place and change to simple view with the simple view you're not seeing all those details then clicking there again you can just put new order from here you can enter the market and execute a trade directly also by clicking here you can open your charts and the chart window will show up uh, you can also check the symbol properties so here you can check all the properties of the symbol if the symbol you're looking for is not here on the quotes, what do you do? You can add to your symbols, forest majors, all these things you can add here. Let's say, for instance, you want to add um, gold. Come to gold, just click on it, it's added. You want to add some other forex uh, majors, click here, you can add all the majors. can add the minus anyone you want to add you can add them so they are all here now so what if I don't really like the arrangements I want some symbols to be on top and some other symbols to be beneath so what I do I come to edit this pencil or pen uh, sign then here I can rearrange it to what I want maybe I want gold to be on top I'll just hold on these three lines and move gold on top maybe move it to, to be before the move gold on top bring the euro USD down I can rearrange it to any way maybe I want GBP to be just after the euro USD can always bring that I can rearrange this the way I want it and what if I don't like some uh, symbols that are there and I want to delete them totally from my quotes then I just come to the delete button the bin button there then I select what I want to remove maybe I want to remove AUD New Zealand I will check it delete if I go back there I won't find it so done with this the next tab is the chart tab which you can assess either by clicking here or by just swiping to the left and you will see your charts so from this chart here you have your charts this is telling you that it is a us card weekly charts the first number under it is showing you the opening price. The next one is showing the highest price attained. The next is showing lowest price. And the last is showing the closing price. So you can always change the time frame. Maybe I want to see the daily time frame. Just hit on the charts. And then you can change it to daily. Hit again. You can change it farly. You can hit and change to one hourly to anything you want then by hitting here too you can select uh objects that you want to add to the chart click on this sign symbol then you can add any objects you want to add maybe a horizontal line is added maybe a trend line that is added so any of these you can always do them at any point in time and what if the object you've added you want to remove it all you just need to do is still click on this place come to the same objects click on delete so you can delete any of the things you want to remove it they're gone they're no longer there you can also select your crosshair from here and check 
price is at any point and the date. This is the price to your left, the dark bar. Then to your bottom, the dark bar is showing you the date. So you can also remove it just by hitting on the crosshair there. From here, you can add um, your indicators. You can assess your indicators or delete them. So I can add more indicators, select more by clicking on this F plus. So when I click on this F plus, I can add more indicators. Maybe I want to add RSI. I can add, I can change the dates, the period. I can change where it is applied to, whether to close, open, high, whatsoever. I can do that. I can change the style, maybe make it two pieces, one piece, or three pieces. I can change the color of that. Then I click done. So the RSI is here. If I want to remove it the same way, either I come from here, I, I go this way, then click on delete. I can delete on, the, on this beam and I'll delete them have them deleted okay so going to the trade options so here are the trade options you have your trades the trades will be showing here and here is the balance equity frame margin no trade is showing here right now so but here is where you have the trades and over here you can reorder your trades maybe change the order in which they are showing so you can click on this place um, the time of entry the symbol and the profit all that can be added to add a new trade you can add a new trade from here clicking that plus button and um, changing it that to instant execution or to pending order you can change select any one then change your lot size with this plus or minus tabs then select your price from here either add this way or remove this way or type manually you can change the stop loss and the take profit from here over here you can change the expiring date this GT, gtc means good till cancelled so if you leave it at good till cancelled that means it will not expire but if you want it to expire at any point in time just select the date you want the trade to expire maybe just the next day after that that will be expired then you click on that you can place any trade okay Here shows me my history, the next box. So if I want to know my history, I'll just click on this. I'll get to my history. The next is the news. So here are the news items, which I can always uh, read to get details of each of the news. So if I want it to become one of my favorites, I can just bookmark it. And it becomes one of the favorites whenever i click on the categories favorites you can have see what i have in my favorites then i can go back to my category new categories if i want to delete any news click on this select the ones i want to delete or select all if i select all they are all selected maybe i want to remove these in my categories then delete it everything is gone this area will show you the uh that this tab is for the myql5 community sites so here you can have access to signals and um, a community of traders you can talk with then let's take it a deeper look at this chat chat session so from the top of this chat session you can do a few things you can place a new order. You can place a new order by hitting this plus button at the top right side. You can do that. Place a new order there. 
you can also change the time frame by hitting this clock sign and select any of the time frames you can also change the symbol select the symbol you want by hitting this dollar sign so you can change to any symbol you can also assess your indicators from that f sign from this you can assess your any indicator you want to assess then here is the cross bar to change anything you want so when you assess your indicators you have the options of editing them maybe to four pixel you want it to be large so you can edit all of that change the color of the bolingo bands if you want and all of that then click done you can see if i don't like the color i'll just go back to indicators come to bolingo band change to maybe one pixel then maybe to any color i want say black you can see very cool so still go back delete if you don't like at all it's gone okay the last area i would like us to assess is coming down to the menu so here in the menu you have the trading account the account number and the account details then you still have those quotes like we've assessed already so still from there you can have access to your charts just like we've assessed already you can also have access to your trades like we've assessed already so it's just a place you can assess all the, the tabs we've already assessed your history you can also assess the account monitoring this is the myql5 i talked about here you have your mail post you can assess the mail these are the information you, you get from your broker so i want to delete it i can delete them and mail post will be empty then the news we've assessed that already so the next is the economic calendar then after that you have your messages the next thing I would like to show you is the settings. Here is the settings option. With these settings, you can change the face of everything you see. You can untick the advanced mode, not to be having the advanced mode. You can untick it so that what you will just be having is a simple mode always. By so doing, you are always having simple mode. You can unselect the advanced mode or select it other sound so that when you place a sound there will be when you place another you hear a sound bam. so you can remove the other sound or you can put it there then the line type you can ch change the line type whether it is a bar chart candlestick or line chart you can change your chart type you can change the information you see at the charts your open high low close so you can choose to have them in your charts or not to have them the data window if you click on it whenever you have a crosshair it will be showing it will be showing the information available with this square boss that will be showing your data window and you can also choose to remove it yes you can choose to remove it so show volume you can choose to show the volume show trade levels you can select all these and assess all the settings uh, show period separator the period separator are these lines they will be having lines before so let's put the period separator. If I remove period separator, if I show period separator, you can see these black vertical lines, dotted lines. They are all here. So I can change the way my candles look. 
I can customize the colors of my candles. I'll be changing them to any color that I want. This way I change all. Customize the colors, maybe the axe line, the bead line, every color, anything about color in the charts. This is where I change them and make them look the way I want. Still, for instance, I want to change the bull candle. I want to make bull candle um, say black. I want to make the beer candle say um, red or say white. Let's see. Can you see? So I can also change it to the other way around. Maybe bull candle. Let's go to colors. Maybe bull candle. Um, bull candle white and beer candle black. The other way around. Okay. I can decide to disable the news so that I won't be seeing any news, any other settings, anything I just want to do. I can enable tablet interface. This is a tablet interface so that I can assess everything just at once. Wow, that's cool. So with this tablet interface, I can assess everything I want just in a single view. I can go back to my settings and disable tablet interface. Everything gets back here. Okay. So journal, the last um, journal. I can see all my journals, all the trades, everything I've placed. Then the last is about MetaTrader 4. So, but before I leave you, do you know that if you want to have a larger view or a more zoomed out view of this MetaTrader 4 by turning your phone, and you have a bigger picture of what has been happening then when you click on it you have your time frames to your left then you have your chart types and other the first is your other the plus sign this place where you can place your order then the next is your indicators then you have your objects crosshair the bar types you can always change this bar types with the bar charts like now it is in bar charts here is it's bar charts you can change it to candlesticks by clicking this then the last line chart so i hope you've gotten values from this you can just play with your meta trader for so i encourage you go around play with your meta trader for and I show you watch my next videos. Thank you.